It's 4-6 four, four, of 2019. Some minor improvements. This is a... It's aluminum. But keeping it around the globe really reduces anything coming out in this direction. And I'm able to run this and it doesn't cut the TV off. A partial Faraday shield, but I have to ground it. It has a ground wire inside. So it has to be grounded. I tried it without the ground. It radiates just the same. So it has to be grounded and it works fine. Second, if I don't put something across this bulb, this is this is the 12 volt bulb, the low beam. That's blue arcing inside. I've got it up to 98.2 millihenries. If I put I had to double these, the two co each one, this has got two coils in it, this one's got two. yeah, 96.3 Henry's, so if I do this, I can get rid of the majority of the Sparking, but that's what it would look like if this thing flashes. Okay, so that's running that. So these are knocking off. This is more of a high filter right now. It's acting as a high filter. Is that a flash? But this, this is running at about 10 pulses per second. My flash lamp, I haven't figured it out. I've added a uh, 20, a 250 PF cap and a 50 PF cap on the ends in line with this, hoping to knock out any high ends this thing may, uh, high frequencies. There it goes again. That's what I haven't figured out yet. This is operating at 10, about 10 pulses a second, but still this flashlight, these caps get overloaded somewhere in between the pulses. It fills up so fast it doesn't empty and it comes out here. So either it's I don't know what 1157 volt. <clears throat> But anyway, I've got the high voltage fairly under control. This power supply running 12 volts, 1.8, well, around 1.78 amps. Input into this. Low. I can increase the pulses even higher, and I'll get very, I'll get a lot less of that. But if it starts opening up, I don't know how it does it. But it'll flash that lamp before it fires this bulb. I mean, it's firing it about right now. I, that's that's not too bad. But for some reason, those caps they instantly overcharge, and out it comes through that flash lamp in between flashes here. I don't know how it does it or what it's doing. It seems to be in between. I can't imagine how it could build up. And not flash or build up and go through this or through the spark gap and flash at the same time. Uh, maybe there's a resonance trick in there. Uh, I don't know. I put a 10 ohm load across it and I came up with, uh, let's see, 10 ohms across the uh, caps I end up with uh, uh, 106 millivolts 
at 17 kilohertz AC. DC it measures 70 millivolts. Now that's with a 12 volt 2 amp input into the globe and apparently I'm guessing a 4 kV 25 kilohertz out from the globe into this or running a 110 volt bulb. It's that frequency that's throwing me off. 106 millivolts, 0.1 volt, charging up 1300 volt caps that'll spill over if you're not careful. So there's, uh, yeah, that's 17 kilohertz. 106 millivolts, each pulse could be 106.1 volt, I don't know. So that's what I measured just for the heck of it. Yeah, that's for the 10 ohm, uh, give or take 10%. That's a 10 ohm load I had across it, shorting it out basically. Uh, it'll run shorted out, it don't care. It's not hurting this globe any. You just got to watch it when you start increasing the resistance. If it hasn't got some place to go, it'll find its way out of there, one way or another. Yeah, 262 nano, that's what, I'm, there it goes again. 262 nano is what I figured. Okay, I'm back again. I guess I did, it's not completely shielded enough. Yeah, this, the shield works for the most part, but apparently it, uh, I need a full shield around this, perhaps around the spark gap. Perhaps the wiring, uh, yeah, there's some high frequency coming out of this, but I've got it pretty much under control. So, that's the uh, story with all of that. Uh, we are continuing on. I'm looking into buck converters. I just have to figure out how much real voltage without the spark gap I can get away with. Because if you slip with this thing, you gotta know the input resistance if you slip with it, it's going to blow right through whatever electronics is in its way. And those uh, buck converters there, I think they start around 150 bucks. I'm guessing. I think that's what I've seen on there for a small one. Or I could build one. i got a pretty good idea how they're going, how they're built. So that's the story with that. And what I tried... Adding this 8 mf. Got how many kb this is? I tried adding this uh, big ass cap across it. 600 volt, 16, 600 volt DC cap across or in line in series with this bulb. Flash lamp was going off, bulb halfway lit, had my 2 meg cap across the, no, had a 5 meg cap across this thing. And I waited a little bit, and I went and uh, shorted this, and that little sucker let go. So that 5 meg cap. That uh, really takes a long time to unload this son again. But yeah, 8 mf in the series with this. That uh, I need more.